Yo, 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 man, what's good? It's 7420 TV. Hi, my thing is the podcast, man. Listen, y'all like, dang. Hey, Seven, why you doing uploads, bro? I need to do more uploads, so we doing more uploads. Anyway, right now, we got the... Y'all know what that means. Got my disclaimer. Oh, I found Gotti thighs, yo. I found his thighs and his coat. His coat's in the woods somewhere. I just happened to come across it. I don't know how, bro. We found your coat, Gotti. Oh, and it's always 420 somewhere. Anyway, man, listen, we back with the uh, Hassan congratulating the jail nigga, man. And this is what I understand, Hassan. Why don't you congratulate the, the Iron Road students, you know, the people who overcame stuff? The jail nigga. So you want to push the image, I get it, of the jail nigga. I get it. So, why have your attention for this upload? Let's dive into this, man. Let's break this down. He need to get a tummy tuck, but hey, hey, listen, that's just my decision. What up, what up, son? Ain't shit chillin', how you, man? <laughs> For those of y'all that don't know, man, we got the legendary Wild Bill in the building. C-74, Rikers Island, Bronx, what, what university? What, what yeah, West Side, West Side. West Side, West Side. BGS, Bronx Gunslinger, you know? Legend of Rikers Island. Been there so long, been through so much. The address is, is like embedded in my head. 1111 Hazen Street, East Elmhurst, New York. Hmm. You know, C74, Adolescents at War. Wildin', profiling, going out Bob Stalin. Look good then, looking good now. The name that nobody don't want to talk about. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Why they don't want to talk about. See, Rikers Island, or, or Rikers Island, Dudes that got a name now. Man, I just remember something, man. They always told me when you a punk, you you, you surround yourself around tough guys. Hey, highs, man. Listen, I salute you, brother. You might have held it down. You might have did the years. Okay. But we got kids out here that, are, that unfortunately look up to this guy. And this guy want to congratulate you instead of giving that money. So that same money of that champagne bottle you had and all that, that same money could have went to somebody that needed child care, that needed, you know, furniture in their crib, like you said. Never helped the single mothers. Like Hassan, what are you what are you doing out there, bro? And listen, I know you've been sneak dissing me, bro. I've been letting it go. But now I'm gonna directly address you. I've been dealing with your little bulldog Gotti. Got my head and he got body. Yo, give him his thighs back. They're right here, bro. Give him his thighs back, man. Stop playing with me, brother. Stop playing with me. I got probably the most legendary. I mean it's T Bone. Don't get me wrong. Shout out T Bone, bro. This video, bro, I will push it to the day I stop doing YouTube. Let's go. You are watching a master at work. Why you touching me like that? Because I can. Why you playing with me like that? Because I can. Why is he touching my butt? Because I can. I'm not gay. I don't understand. Because I can. Why you touching me like that? Because I can. Why you playing with me like that? Because I can. Why is he touching my butt? Because I can. I'm not gay. I don't understand. Because I can. Nigga start putting his hands on my fucking backside. And I tried to stop him. I'm not a faggot. I don't give a fuck. He's lucky. Because if he wasn't on YouTube, I would have cut his heart out, his lungs out, his liver out, his throat out. I had to make him understand. I'm not playing with you. I beat him up on camera because he fucking touched me. I don't follow y'all rules. I showed them love in the hood, funny style ass niggas. I am a killer. I have killed before. I'm a shooter, not a fuckboy. I don't dance with gay people. I don't party with gay people. That's not my fucking thing. Nigga put his hands around my neck. And I'm like, yo, what the fuck wrong with you, son? I told you to stop. Lucky you alive. Nigga, you lucky. I started to poke the shit out of you, nigga. Why you touching me like that? Because I can. Why you playing with me like that? Because I can. Why is he touching my butt? Because I can. I'm not gay. I don't understand. Because I can. Why you touching me like that? Because I can. Why you playing with me like that? Because I can. Why is he touching my butt? Because I can. I'm not gay. I don't understand. Because I can. I showed you love. I showed you love. I showed you love. I know that. And you touching me. I showed, I, I showed this nigga love. I showed him love. I, know I don't even know him. I showed the YouTuber love. I don't know him. He pushing me. Push me again. Because I can. Push me again. Because I can. 
Now do what you do. Nah, I'm not gonna do nothing. No, do what you do. I'm gonna accept this. Fuck out of here. And I know I can kill this nigga right now. I'm in my hood, in my town. Why are you touching me like this? Because I can. Because you could? And do what you do. Because you could. Do what you do. Because you could. Do what you do. I left my Fuck fucking wife here. and my children. Because I can. So stop playing me, bro. I would demolish you and even in an upload, brother. I do this. And so all the people that's copying me, man, would never be another 7420, man. I do this. It's, it's natural. It's easy. It rolls off, man. Let's go. Now, they big homies was pretty much everybody was up under your wing. Not everybody. You know what? A good, like, like when the homies and all of them, when the war came about, you know, before it was the homies, Kids the brothers and all that, when they was coming through on the wall, you know, it was brothers that wasn't blood that put in a lot of work because it was really a black and a Spanish thing. You know what I'm saying? So on that on that note, you know, I had it hard because I grew up in the Bronx and I grew up around a lot of Spanish dudes. So it was kind of hard for me to go at a lot of dudes, you know, because the beef wasn't with me, but they was oppressing the blacks. So it was crazy. So I had to put that work in, you know. And then the homies that was coming up before they was the big homies, you know what I'm saying? That was OGs now. Some homies that passed away, you know what I'm saying? Official brothers, you know, been through a lot. Once they got their name up, you know, they forgot about the real struggle, you know, but. And it's funny because you're talking about the name, the man that's <laughs> right next to you, brother. Right there, him. You're talking about the man, bro. He right here, him. He got up and got and forgot where he came from, bro. And I hope this is ringing a bell in your head, Hassan. I understand, man. The only niggas you bring around you expose you, bro. And don't even know it. Hey, C74, bro, you give him around this brother, man. He did he done did some shit that should have put you away already again. So man, get around, get away from this dude, bro. How's him coming, bro? Pause. No breaks, break lines cut, bro. It's for his fucking 20 TV, bro. You know what it is. You know, not only for not only did they forget, but a lot of dudes. I, what I've seen is like a lot of dudes got their reputation off of cutting herbs on Rikers Island. A lot of dudes got their reputation off of cutting herbs, and not only did they do that, but the reality of it is, once upon a time before dudes turned turned homie, they was Muslim, right? And then right, tell yeah. tell you, go 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 from your perspective because you know what I mean. Before I got there, was you? Both. You know what I mean? A lot, of, a lot of dudes be trying to front like I wasn't on Rikers Island, but it is what it is. A lot of homies that were slash Muslim, slash 5%, you know, and they used the umbrella of the Muslims or of another body of individuals, whether it was Brooklyn, Bronze Crew, you know, they used that. They used that umbrella to, to, to push the, the bloods, right? Before the bloods was the bloods. You know, so they had a lot of help. It just bloods ain't come out and they was just doing their thing now. You know what I'm saying? You had the other official dudes that was doing their thing first. You know, it was a lot of blood dudes that they, they, they big homies got on sets and all that. And I gave them their first razor. I showed them how to stuff. If you don't know what stuff is. Hey, bro, man, how about you not say all that, bro? Like, you, like, come on, bro. Like, why do niggas, like, why? Man, I told you, our problem is. We love attention, man. So when we get on the platform, we just blab. But like, see how Hassan turned to a whole fan ass nigga when we went on academics. We got stop becoming fans to these niggas, man. That's number one. I forgot who said that, but somebody said stop becoming fans to these niggas. That means putting that raise in your ass, rapping that shit. You know, put it in your ass so you don't tear your ass up. You know. Have spit out raises. And this is why, and there's no disrespect of why I don't want to go to prison. I ain't stuffing shit in my ass. See, I sound like that part. You, brother, watch out. You might be turning this nigga on. Watch, watch out, brother. Watch what you say to him. Just watch it. You gonna fuck around think you in a relationship. Watch it. You know what I'm saying? How to smuggle them, how to get them on the visit floor. You know, but I was getting raises on the visit floor. I was getting raises from the school teachers. I was getting raises from COs. They came, you know what I'm saying? I was I was doing my thing and I knew how to I knew how to network and know 
who to deal with and who to fuck with. You know what I'm saying? Real recognize real. Because you had a lot of CEOs that was young coming through and they know about the struggle as well. You know what I'm saying? But the Spanish dudes had a little better because that language, that language barrier, they was able to talk that language to other bilingual CEOs and they had it a little easier. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, the war is a war. And they was putting in work just like we was putting in work. But you know, black don't crack. You know what I'm saying? We just official. Hey, uh, somebody tell me, what does black don't crack got to do with this situation, brother? Because I don't think not that nigga that's listening to me, you or him want to go to jail to the point where they get that old today, they might, they, they got some stand shit like black don't crack, brother. See, that right there let us know how fucked up in the head we are. We so, oh my God, y'all see this, right? And y'all still going to fund that war, y'all still going to subscribe to this nigga. Look at this pop belly frog ass motherfucker, man. Get out of here with that shit. See how C74 half fit? Why don't you half fit like that? Like that, so, you know. You know, it's crazy because you survived on Rikers Island with a lot of legendary enemies that had names during them days. And it's crazy because some of the dudes that had names during those days, because C-74 was weird. Like, when dudes talk about the homies or whatever the case may be, C-74 is where it was really be, where, who was putting it on. C-74 was putting it on, for real. C-74 is what really made the homies legendary. But at the same time, there was also Latin Kings on Rikers, Rikers Island that was legendary, that was doing their thing. That was putting it in. You had, you had brothers on both sides. But... What was your obstacles and what made your name start ringing? What made my name start? When I came to Rikers Island, right? I came to Rikers Island with beef from the street. And when I came to the island, you had a dude that was on the island already two years that had a lot of Bronx, Bronx dudes under the wing. So when I came to the island, dudes was like, get them, get them. They found out I was dead, get them. And you know, I was in Mars 6, that was the new jack house, right? And my brother, my older brother, when I called the crib in Mars 6, the New Jack house, and told my brother, yo, niggas is trying to kill me. He told me, yo, you was playing with guns in the street. You bet not let no motherfucker with no razor scare you or take anything from you. You know what I mean? I'm like, yo, ain't nobody taking nothing. Nobody taking shit from me. You know what I'm saying? So he threw the battery in my back. And when the dude actually get on the phone, it was supposed to be like a suicide or whatever dude that was running the New Jack house. My brother was like, yo, you don't fuck that nigga up right now. You know what I'm saying? Because you got to be there. You better whip that nigga ass. And that was my first fight. I whipped that nigga ass, beat him with the phone, you know, and while I was there. Hey, yo, I forgot who said in my live. They was like, yo, Hassan done closed like five cases. Yeah, you right, bro. I, Kev, yeah, Kev, you right, bro. I, I think this nigga done closed about another six, seven right now. This motherfucker could probably got like, bro, hey, 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 Hassan, what's your record, bro? He probably got a, what, like a 90% a, a success, success rate and getting niggas jammed up? He done said Bam is a getaway driver, and then Bam had another nigga named whoever was a getaway driver. of a mur I, I, Like, nigga, do you know murder doesn't have a limit on it, brother? Do you, like, 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 come on, bro, this shit ain't happening because ain't no indictment start on you. Ain't no investigation start after that shit. So cut the shit, bro. Y'all too, I, I'm tired of hearing these old ass jail stories. How about stories like, yeah, I got out of jail in five years, I invested, got about two houses, you know, the company. Shit like, I don't never hear that. You know what I hear? This shit. This shit right here. This shit. Glorifying the fact that they did all this shit in prison. My friend, it doesn't matter because not most of my subscribers and my followers and his and her and, and yours is not going to go to jail to find out any of that shit you're talking about. You feel me? So I believe this entire video he did was fucking irrelevant. And for the two weeks, I used the phone as much as I wanted. Then I got addicted to using the phone. So that became a fucking problem. So now everywhere I went, I got to get on this phone. And it was crazy because I go to certain houses and individuals was like, yo, who you, where you from? Yeah, I'm from the Bronx. I'm locked up for a body. I'm locked up for this, for that, whatever the case may be. They be like, so I'm locked up for a body. He locked up for a body. Half the, half the building scene, they was locked up for fucking half murder. Half the building was locked you know up for a body. And, and, and at the time, that's when New York was a murder capital anyway. So dudes was putting, 
It wasn't too many soft motherfuckers, but you had dudes that was living behind the gun in the town. So they came to jail and been soft. But I was able to do the town in the jail because that's just in my nature. I've been getting fucked up by my older brother for years since I was seven, eight, nine years old. Oh, so that's what you and Hassan got in common. You was getting fucked up by your brother. Hassan was getting pinged and bammed by... See, I told you, birds of a feather flock together. How many times have y'all heard me say that shit? How many times when I say that shit, this nigga gets mad, bro? Oh, beware. Um, when it's upload drop, it will be another video. I guarantee you he's going to respond to this. Because what I'm saying is nothing but the absolute God honest fucking truth. Oh, busting my shit. So, fighting wasn't nothing to me. I'm used to that. So, when I came in, busting his shit. I came in the fall building. They fucked up and they put me in the sprung for like three months. You know what I'm saying? So, I really got used to using a fucking phone when they put me in the no, sprung. And when I came in the building, it was like, I still had to be for the Bronx dudes from the street. And then, why would they put me in a Brooklyn house when Bronx and Brooklyn was going to war? So, it was like, yo, so now I got the war with the Brooklyn niggas. Got the war with the Bronx niggas. I was like a one-man army. I seen my homie from Queens I was in Juvenile with. He was like, yo, he gave me a motherfucking razor. And was like, yo, listen, you got to do your thing. And sure enough, that's what I did. My thing. You see, look. I had... So that nigga's talking tough, right? Hey, remember, guy, I found your coat. But y'all talking tough, right? So you're talking tough with a bunch of kids around. How tough are y'all, baby bop? How tough are y'all? Kids are around, brother. How, how more disrespectful... So you're educated, so basically, and, and you think kids don't hear, kids hear every fucking thing, brother. So they hear you talking about this shit, they don't hear no educational shit, no what you got, no none of that, bro. I'm like, what's up? Nobody want to hear the war stories, man. You too old, we too, you too old, boy. He 45, I know you're about that age. No one wants to hear that, man. Jules on the island, Jules in the street, no scars on my face, I'm still pretty, I'm handsome. You know? He handsome too, you know what I'm saying? Hold up, but you... He handsome? He handsome. Wow. Um, I'm not surprised some nigga that came out and did that long. That's why I said, shout out motherfucker 10 toes. That nigga's a real nigga. Kept it down 10 for real. 10 don't act nothing like this motherfucker right here, bro. Nothing. So like I said, man, salute, man. Shout out 10 toes, bro. Don't act, he don't act nothing like this nigga, man. You talking about nigga, look. Nigga, nigga handsome. You see, look, I had jewels on the island, jewels in the street, no scars on my face. I'm still pretty. I'm handsome. You know, he handsome too. You know what I'm but saying? You, but you had beef. I don't know if you want to say his name or not, because a lot of people know one of your one of one of the dudes that you had beef with from the streets to jail was a legendary name. Now I don't know if you want to say his name not, or not. not, not shout now, out, no. shout out. Maybe not now, but not shout now. out, shout out to him. He know who he is. Everybody know who he is. He was, but for as far as I'm concerned, he was, was he was one of the number one shooters for the for the Bloods. Yeah, he was. No, he was. Oh my God, bro! Now you talking about who number one shooter for the Bloods is? Whoo! This is gonna be a video of the century, my friend. Just for that, I might make it two-part upload, man, because I don't want the first one upload to be too long, you feel me? So the fact that he done said this guy is handsome, and we ain't gonna act like we ain't hear that, you feel me? So I feel like we're gonna make a part two to this, man, because he, he he messed up with this one, brother. He messed up. L listen to this before we end this. Listen to this. You see, look. I had jewels on the island, jewels in the street, no scars on my face. I'm still pretty. I'm handsome. You know? He handsome too. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to leave it at that, man. I'm going to let that talk for itself, man. Y'all like this, Joe, man? Comment in the box below and be like, yo, Seven, do that part two. Finish that thing, bro. Finish it. Y'all drop that in the comment box. We'll definitely hit that part two, man. Like I said, man, how am I think it's the only podcast to talk for itself? Y'all done heard these dweebs down here, man, grown ass men talking about he handsome and he handsome too. Listen, y'all heard it first. Hey, yo, got your thighs right here. You can pick them up anytime you want, bro. I still want my fair one. Oh, and your coat, we found it up there too. We found it. How am I think it's the podcast? Y'all know who the boy is, man. It's 7420 TV, man. I appreciate y'all for watching this. How am I think it's the podcast? Salute y'all, man. We out of here. I get high, 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 I get high.